The team news for both teams tonight, and you have to say, looking at Hull City's team, if you haven't seen it on social media, there's been quite a shake-up in the attacking department. Three changes for Liam Rossini. Carl Darlow is in goal. The back four remains the same. It's Coyle, Jones, McLaughlin and Callum Elder. Regan Slater now joins John Michael Serry in the more sitting midfield partnership. Slater replaces Xavier Simons, who misses out altogether. Bit of a mystery there. Suspect an injury or an illness in the build-up to this one. Pelkas, Traore and Malcolm Ebue make up an attacking midfield three. Anticipate Pelkas and Ebue and Traore to all work together in the centre and squeeze the space on the full-backs and centre-backs of Burnley trying to play out. And up front is Aliar Syed Manesh. So Tufan and Oscar, who partnered up together for the goal at Turf Moor, can only find places on the bench. Completing it is Timothy Latutala, Jacob Greaves, Tobias Figueredo, Greg Doherty, and a return for Ryan Longman. Vincent Company in baseball cap and bright white trainers. Down pitch side, already barking away some orders. Liam Rossini taking it all in as well as Burnley try and muster their first attack. A through ball down the right to Teller, perfectly weighted at the byline and turned behind by Alfie Jones. I thought that was goal bound for a moment as the cutback was played in. Jones six yards out, just has to batter it over the crossbar and behind. But early warning signs, two and a half minutes gone. It takes one pass to unlock a defence and Burnley have not taken a lot of time to already warm up and find their accuracy. Corner to come, bit of a faint header by Ekdal. Up goes Traore, clambered on the shoulders of Cullen. Asks for a free kick, isn't going to get one. As the ball's back with Murich in the six-yard box. Pelkast trying to tease him with a bit of pressure. Burnley give up possession. It's gathered by Slater in the middle. Said Manesh flick down the line, is met by Elder. Delivers well into the area. Traore meets it with the header, but it drops wide of goal. But brilliant cross from Callum Elder. Lots of whip into the right place. The heart of the penalty area. And Adama Traore on his first start at the MKM Stadium. And his first start in Hull City Colours nearly capped it with his first Hull City goal. Remains nil-nil for now, but that was a promising chance for the Tigers. As Burnley have the ball once again, Cullen in the centre circle, finding Bayer as the, despite it being a back four, it turns into a back three as Mateson completes the trio and over towards Ekdal, then it's into the feet of Connor Roberts, who looked a little bit uncomfortable on the ball, hence why he gives up possession. Seri with a little step over finds Coyle and Seri immediately tries to spot Ibue who wanted the ball to come to him and this has presented Burnley with a chance out of nothing. They're into the area here, Ashley Barnes strong touch, McLaughlin sliding across. Instinctive tackle. It's worked out to the corner flag, Zorori bumps into Alfie Jones and the decision actually goes Hull City's way even though the Moroccan has been left on the deck. Brilliant tackle though in the last phase by Sean McLaughlin. Barnes will be unhappy because his touch was a strong one. But McLaughlin sliding in to prevent a shot which surely would have been a certain goal for Ashley Barnes. There's Ekdal in the penalty area of Burnley across towards Bayer who's now going to sprint out of the defence and try and bypass the midfield of Hull City. Wide it goes towards Zorori. Goodmanson charging on as well but the Moroccan will play it to Barnes in the D of the penalty area. Vettinho's unmarked on the right side, knits it together nicely. Teller try to flick it goalwards, the flag's raised anyway. But that just shows the the pattern of play from Burnley, they went from the left side, worked it all the way across to the right side in a lovely little zigzag pattern of play with the ball just never losing momentum. Very pleasing to the eye to watch. It's no wonder they've unlocked defences with passages of play like that this season. Simonesh giving chase, looks like he put his arm around the shoulder of Connor Roberts that time who seems to be the chosen favourite for the, the more dastardly tackles of Hull City tonight the Welsh international who is very 
dangerous indeed, not just as a defender, but as someone going forward as well. He's got two goals in his last four matches. He said post Huddersfield that his team always want to be better. Teller in the area. Now then, he's got a real shooting chance here and he's buried it. A direct passage of play this time, gathered by Teller. Burnley's top scorer is on target again. And the Burnley fans are celebrating again as they have done throughout this season. It is their 72nd goal. And on the last two promotion seasons out of the championship, that is the amount they accumulated to reach the Premier League. But the way this season is playing out and the way they are playing, they're going to cruise to the Premier League at a canter. It is Hull City nil, Burnley 1, and Nathan Teller has his 15th of the season. Ball is up in the air. Traore on his first start for Hull City manages to get the ball to settle at his feet and he finds Slater. Ball wide to Aliar was behind him. But Elder continues a run down the left and he's unmarked as he delivers across. Abue is there. It falls to Traore. He swipes at thin air and Burnley swipe it away. What a chance for Hull City. Just two minutes into the second half. Callum Elder has just developed an even stronger engine than seasons before, it would seem. He works it back to McLaughlin in the centre circle. It's now with Alfie Jones, who steps away from Zarori. Three out wide for Hull City, with Traore being one of them. He's moving it back in field. He spotted an unmarked Aliar out wide. Again, the ball's behind him. A couple of step overs as he now tries to work some room. He just collides with Nathan Teller. Appeals on the stand on the east stand side for a free kick. It was never going to be given. Aliar back on the ball again, 25 yards out, delivers towards Oscar, who heads it wide of the target. He was moving away from goal and could not get the flick needed to divert it goalwards. But Hull City with two respectable chances at the start of this second half. Oscar with one of them, a header. So Doherty will experience right back then for the first time in his career. He's played right midfield in the Hull City Colours this season. Further afield in the right wing position is Abue and he shrugged off a challenge into the area. Tries to dance around his man, Abue saved by Murich. Just had to use his body and block the shot from close range. But Malcolm Abue, who might not have so much trudging backwards when helping defenders is keeping the defenders of Burnley on their toes whenever he gets on the ball near the penalty area. The goalkeeper well placed from close range as that shot after 53 minutes just says to Burnley that Hull City are still plugging away in this one. They only trail by one. All the sides around the top six of the championship leading at the moment so Hull City as things stand very much realistically out of the running for a playoff place Burnley will be 19 points safe in the automatic promotion places with nine to go and they are on the hunt for a second goal now two quick passes immediately gets Mateson into an attacking position advance forward and it's going to be in Nathan Teller inside the six yard box onto Mateson's delivery the pocket of Burnley fans explode into celebration because their little maestro who plays in the number 10 position and then drifts wide he gets here there and everywhere and he's on the goal scoreboard again it's a brace for him as a brace against Wigan. Four in two, Burnley have two. Are they out of sight? A minute shy of an hour, Hull City nil, Burnley two. Doherty pointing, trying to find Seri, but Barnes is keeping a really good eye on him. 
at this moment in time. They just can't seem to find Seri in any space. A Buey, oh, brilliant touch on the edge of the area. Now then, into Tufan. Tufan shot is saved by Muric. He needed to find a corner. 15 yards out. Gorgeous touch from Malcolm Abue though in the build-up. Completely drew his marker away. Hull City though, as the live standings denote, down in 15th, which would be a bit of a sorry position for Liam Rossini. Yet. The way he's managed to get this team turned around defensively. And it's given away very cheaply. Teller is in for his hat trick. He's got it. And that time, Hull City presented him with the opportunity. Nathan Teller over to the crowd once again. And Hull City have conceded three for the first time at home under Liam Rossini. And that was the easiest of the lot. Hull City were just passing it around quite happily. And out of nowhere, Burnley pounce, Teller collects, and he slots it into the left-hand corner. That has begun an exodus in the MKM Stadium. But every Burnley fan will be sitting or standing and enjoying this one to the final whistle. Nathan Teller, a hat-trick hero tonight. On the park, McLaughlin with a header on halfway, gathered by Regan Slater as Hull City tried to muster one last forage forwards in the third minute of added time. Seri towards Jacob Greaves, now for Ryan Longman. Ryan Longman, who's looked bright when coming off the bench, moving the ball in field towards Doherty, all but one behind the ball in Claret and Blue. The ball finds its way to Tufan. And Muric will be disappointed that he's lost his clean sheet, and Ozan Tufan who scored at Turf Moor, scores at the MKM as well. And Ozan Tufan, fifth goal of the season. Here's the one smidge of happiness for Hull City tonight. Ozan Tufan from just inside the area with a no mercy finish.